leaving the government of England to Prince Edward. As the Battle of Evesham demonstrated, Edward was not in the least like his father. Forceful and brutal, he was willing to shed blood in buckets to get his own way. <laughs> but as King Edward I, after 1272, he was also the strong, dominant royal leader England had been lacking for more than 80, 80 years. The downside was that Edward I was a hard act to follow. The son had, who had to follow him in 1307 was not up to the job. Yet another scandalous reign loomed over England, and the new king, Edward II, was going to suffer for it in the most ghastly way his enemies could devise. And next time, we will find out exactly the kind of king Edward II was. And you're going to be very surprised by it. Thank you. Have a good night.